to love this thing. It looks like a commercial, doesn't it? Yeah, no. It's not. I bought this. I didn't get it for free. I like it. I like it a lot, and I think you're going to like it too. Hey guys, I wanted to talk to you today about home audio. What do you do for home audio in your home? For me, I use my phone for Spotify or Pandora or something like that. Everything is streamed these days. I don't have any music on my phone other than things from Spotify, because heck, if I pay for it monthly, I don't need to rip CDs anymore. I don't even buy CDs anymore. I just stream it on my phone. But to play it in my house, what do you do? Do you use a Bluetooth speaker, separate speaker? Or do you have speakers installed in your house, like I do? I had this multi-system CD player radio thing installed in my house in, in a cabinet in my laundry room. All I use it for today is an amplifier. And in it, I have an auxiliary jack plugged in that I used to have plugged into one of these things, which is a Bluetooth receiver. It's got a little audio jack on the back and a power jack, and you can connect to it from your phone and stream your music to this, just like you can in your car. But this is built in in your car. You have to buy this if your receiver doesn't have that type of uh, Bluetooth capability. But then I got turned on to Chromecast audio. And this is what the Chromecast audio used to look like. I think it might be a little bit different these days, but uh, it's just a round disc that has a USB power port as well as an audio out jack. And the cool thing about this is that it's Wi-Fi enabled, which means I could stream music from my phone wherever I was in my home network, whether I was in the basement, upstairs, outside, as long as I had Wi-Fi signal, I could communicate with the Chromecast. This Christmas, I got something one better. This is the next evolution. This is an Echo Dot from Amazon. Now, it has the ability to output music. It's got an audio output. So effectively, it's just like this, like the uh, Chromecast audio. You can connect to it from your streaming apps, whether it be Pandora or Spotify, and you can stream your music through this. But this is one better. Let's talk about this thing. So you guys like know I'm really big on home automation, right? So one of the things that I really liked about this was that you can talk to it and it understands your voice. It's like if you're an Apple user, it's like Siri, but inside this very convenient package and it controls stuff for your whole house. Wherever you are, you can talk to Alexa, which is their version of Siri and ask Alexa to do things or talk to you or tell you the weather. Alexa, play me a song off of Pandora or play me a playlist off of Spotify. It's really pretty cool about that. So in the box, you get obviously the Echo Dot. You get a USB, micro USB cable that's pretty long, which is good because you might need to put it somewhere. You get directions and you get the power brick. Oh, by the way, for those of you that follow my Instant Insteon series, which is all about home automation, this works with Insteon. So when I get it configured correctly, I'll be able to say, Alexa, turn on my kitchen lights, and my lights will go on. Are you ready for this? I'm in my laundry room, and this is my home entertainment system. Ta-da! It's a multifunction five disc changer with a radio and every, I, I don't use any of it anymore. It's really just an amplifier and I've got a speaker selection switch over here so that I can have music go output to four different places in the house. And it works well. So I can choose, where is my Alexa? Now I can choose to hook up the Echo Dot directly to the amplifier in this cabinet here. But since you really have to talk to her and she needs to be able to hear you, this is not an ideal location. So on the opposite side of this wall is my refrigerator in the kitchen. And because of the Bluetooth limitations that I had in the past, I had already taken the time to punch a hole through the wall. Yeah, I know you're going to think I'm nuts, but I punched a hole through the wall 
and have an audio cable already going from here out to the kitchen. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to put this on the top of the refrigerator and you're never going to see it. So here's that audio cable. I just need to pull the refrigerator out to plug it in with the power behind the refrigerator. Up here is the sound cable coming from the laundry room. That hole goes through to the laundry room. And this is the power supply that I'm going to replace for the, the uh, Echo. Now the problem that I have is that this is the Alexa power supply and if I just plug it into the wall like this it sticks out quite a bit. So I got a this is a three-way angled um, cube tap they call them okay allows you to plug in multiple things into an outlet but I can put it in an orientation that allows it to stay flat to the wall. Hello. Your Amazon Echo Dot is ready for setup. Just follow the instructions in your Alexa app. Alright, I'm in the App Store. And I'm going to look for the Alexa app. Now here's where you have to log in with your Amazon account. Allow Alexa to send me notifications and begin setup. Now I have an Echo Dot and I'm in the United States. Let's connect her to Wi-Fi. Now connect my iPhone to the Echo Dot. So I have to go back to my settings and look for the Amazon Wi-Fi network. You've connected to Echo Dot. Go ahead and finish the setup in your Alexa app. Isn't that nice? She talks. Setup is complete and Echo Dot is now connected to Wi-Fi. Okay, how do I want to use my Echo Dot? I'm going to use an audio cable. Connect it to a speaker. Make sure the speaker you're connecting to is turned on and the volume is turned up. When you're done, click continue. By the way, the top of this refrigerator is recessed, so you won't see the Alexa, or you won't see the Echo Dot, I should say. You get to know her as Alexa. So uh, I'm just putting it there so we can see what colors it changes to. Alright, let's continue. Ah, I'll play a short video to get used to the basics. Just so you know, it makes you watch that video. You can't proceed unless you watch the whole thing. Okay, now you try. Uh, Alexa, what's the weather? In Freehold, it's 45 degrees with rain. Today's forecast calls for more of the same, with a high of 47 degrees and a low of 31 degrees. Okay, now that's coming out of speakers in my dining room over there. So, the amplifier is working fine. All right, I have Spotify. I'm a Spotify user, so I want to hook up Alexa to Spotify. If I go to Settings, Music and Media, it has a whole bunch of music services here. Now, I don't subscribe to Amazon Music, so I don't want to pay for it. But I do have a Spotify premium account, so I'm going to link my account on Spotify. Your Spotify account has been linked successfully. You m please note, you must have a premium account to use Spotify with Alexa, which I do. So if you want to do this, you're going to have to get a premium account as well. Alexa, play Love Me Tender by Elvis Presley. Love Me Tender by Elvis Presley from Spotify. Pretty nice, right? Alexa, stop. Back to settings, music and media. I'm also going to set up Pandora. 
Okay, all done. I'm all ready to use Pandora. So evidently you don't need to have a premium subscription to use Pandora. So that's something for those of you that don't have a premium Spotify, you can use Pandora still. You will get commercials, but that's the way it is. Okay, now let's choose a default music service. By default it starts with Amazon, of course. They want to promote their own brand. So I'm going to say I want Spotify as the default music library and Pandora as my default station service. Okay. Alexa, play classic rock on Pandora. Getting your classic station from Pandora. Classic rock radio. Alexa, stop. Alexa, tell me a joke. What cheese can you lure a bear with? Come in I didn't get it. Alexa, tell me another joke. What kind of jeans does a pirate wear? Peg leg. Alexa, tell me a good joke. What do you call a dog magician? A labracadabrador. <laughs> labracadabrador. Now that one I like. Alexa, good job. Thanks. I'm glad I could help. Alexa, I love you. That's really sweet. <laughs> now, in case you're wondering, I'm way over here in my family room, probably about 20 to 30 feet away from the camera and my Echo over there on top of the refrigerator. So let's see how it works. Alexa, tell me a joke. Why do envelopes avoid getting in fights? They hate getting licked. <laughs> they hate getting licked. That's a good one, right? What do you got? What do you got? That is the perfect size for the top of this refrigerator. I love it. It's hidden. You can't see it. But when the lights light up, there'll be a little bit of a reflection in the handles. So it's absolutely perfect. And that is all it takes to install an Echo Dot for your home audio system. Thanks for watching. Visit my website, handydad.tv, for more great ideas and information. Be sure to subscribe to be the first to know when new videos are posted. Alexa, do you have a boyfriend? I try to be friends with everyone. She gets around.